The Arizona Cardinals absolutely dominated the ground game against the New Orleans Saints yesterday. Today, we're going to break down the tape. We're going to jump right into it with this seven yard run by Eno Benjamin. Fantastic run, but even better blocking by the offensive line. Let's break this play down a little bit. So you got a power run concept where you're going to pull Max Garcia as well as DJ Humphreys and you're going to allow Cameron Jordan as well as Pete Werner go unblocked and basically those are the two guys that the left guard and left tackle are responsible for. As this play begins, all the other offensive linemen are basically going to block down. You get a bunch of seal blocks here, here, even tight end is going to get up to number 56. As the play continues, you see Max Garcia take on Jordan. He's going to do an absolute beautiful job. He makes contact with the defensive end, and he absolutely crushes him. DJ Humphrey makes contact with Pete Warner, and he's going to actually move Warner about a yard after making contact with him. That's such a nice block by both the left guard and left tackle to be able to get out in space, find their guys, and make contact. And look at that lane right there that's developing for the running back. The front side seals here are nice. The pulls and the kickouts are nice. And it's just a really nice wall created for the running back. And of course, he picks up seven yards. Cardinals were doing this pretty much all night last night. Let's jump into the next rep. You know, I never understood the hate for Cliff Kingsbury. I know some people want him fired. Some people don't like him as a coach. But the guy does a really good job designing plays, designing offenses. This play right here is such a nice design when you really break it down. And this play hits for 17 yards. But when you look at this play right here, right, and you really break it down, you really watch it in slow motion, the thing that I like about this play is the tight end's going to come out to his right, the running back's going to come to his right, and you got the motion guy coming to his right as well, but then your right guard is pulling as well as your right tackle to the left. At the same time, all your offensive linemen are basically sealing down, and it makes you think, like, what kind of design is this? Of course, Murray's going to read number 94, and 94 is going to take the man in motion, and you guys can see as 94 kind of takes the motion man here, he kind of turns his body to go outwards. Murray's going to keep the ball. But look at all these linebackers kind of flow towards the guy going into motion. Every single one of these backers. Even though the offensive linemen are pulling to the left, all the linebackers are kind of coming towards the bottom of your screen. This is by design right here. This is a really nice job to get all of these guys kind of coming this way and forcing those linebackers to make that read. And of course, Murray keeps the ball. The first guy takes the defensive end, and then you got a lead for Murray as well. This is a really nice design. Absolute beautiful. Let's get into the next rep. You know, just two weeks ago, center Billy Price was with the Las Vegas Raiders. And here he now is with the Cardinals, making blocks like this. Opening up massive 45-yard lanes for the running back. Let's break this play down right here, because there's a lot of different moving parts within this play. We're going to watch Billy Price, but before we watch him, I want you guys to watch this block by Humphreys. He's going to kind of come around on this fold block, and he's going to take Werner, who's going to fill his gap here, and he's basically going to block him outwards, just like this. Keeping your eye on the left tackle, watch as he gets out of his stance. He's going to fold around. Werner's going to fill his gap, and he's going to push him outwards. That's such a nice job right there, and ultimately the running back cuts it underneath that, and you guys see he kicks it for a massive gain. But backing it up here, if you guys watch the center, watch the center block the linebacker Davis here. Davis is going to come fill his gap and watch the way the center forces the linebacker to your left. Because this is a really nice job right there to really seal him off and make him go one way. This steal block is absolute beautiful by Billy Price. Even the tight end downfield here, fantastic job on the safety. Ultimately, you got a couple seal blocks, a couple blocks downfield by the tight end. You get 45 yards by the running back here. That's a really nice job right there. And this power lead concept that the Cardinals ran a ton last night really worked. Here it is. It pops for another four yards here. Really nice job by the offensive line. But specifically, I have to give some credit to Will Hernandez, man. The guy's big. He's strong. He's physical. In this play, he's going to pull and take on number 92, Marcus Davenport. And he does a great job sealing him off. Great job getting his helmet to the inside hip of number 92, which ultimately seals 92 off. Calvin Beecham has to do a better job, in my opinion, getting up through that gap and really finding and making contact because he was just a little slow on this play, as you guys will see. He hesitates just a little bit right there. Uh, he's not sure if he needs to get to the inside guy or to the outside guy. And ultimately, he doesn't get to the outside guy. I think that's the guy he should have went for. Had he got to that outside guy, maybe the running back's able to do some more with this play. Shout out to DJ Humphrey on this block. Super hard block. He's going to double team down and then get up to the linebacker. 
Humphrey is one of the best left tackles in the league, and I don't think he gets enough credit. I mean, this play right here is such a difficult block for a tackle to make, right? Because you have a defensive tackle playing that three technique, and this double team really needs to be enough so that the left guard can reach as well. But not only do you have to double team, but you have to make sure you get to the linebacker and seal the linebacker off as well. So this is not an easy block. But Humphrey does a great job with the down block on number 93. After that down block, he keeps his eyes to the linebacker. He takes a couple steps back to the right, and he makes sure he uses that proper angle to get to number 56. And then look at that body. Look at the way he turns those hips and ultimately seals it off. That's a really nice shot by the left tackle. Absolute super sharp left tackle in my opinion. Let's get into the next rep. Check this power run out and watch the left guard here. The left guard and the left tackle are going to double team, but the left guard does a great job moving number 91 and getting to the inside. Now, of course, everyone knows Cody Ford came in and he took over from Max Garcia, but I think Ford did an absolute beautiful job. Great job double teaming, kicking his hips to the inside, really sealing it off and ultimately giving the running back the lane here to the inside. Good job by the center right guard as well to really just seal it off. Absolute beautiful job. And this play could have picked up more yards if it wasn't for the tight end. If you guys watch the tight end here, he's going to have a block on Marcus Davenport. He really just has a backside seal. And you guys see Davenport do a great job. Absolutely crushing him. Using that hand, really being able to control the inside chest plates. Locking out and then shedding. And being able to help make the play on the running back. It's still a nice gain of 5-6 to six yards. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. I want to take a second to just talk about this third and 14 play that I saw a lot of people talking about on, on Twitter. And people were talking about the fact that Kyler Murray missed DeAndre Hopkins wide open in the middle of the field. And ultimately, he got sacked. Now, first and foremost, I want to say this. This sack right here is not on the offensive line. The offensive line do a great job in this play. In fact, if you just count how long Murray has, he has over four seconds on this play. The O-line does a great job. In fact, if you guys go to PFF, ESPN's Advanced Analytics, or True Media, none of them credit any offensive lineman for this sack. But technically, it's the right tackles guy, Cameron Jordan, that ended up getting the sack. But again, the right tackle was not credited with the sack. Of course, it's because these platforms realize that sometimes a quarterback is the one that's responsible for a sack. And in this play, the O-line does a great job giving Murray time. Now, of course, just talking about the play a little bit, was DeAndre Hopkins actually open here at the top of your screen? Yeah, he was for probably a split second. Right, people don't realize this. Uh, the window of opportunity closes. At this point right here, their opportunity is gone. Like DeAndre Hopkins is not open anymore. Hopkins is running across the field. So if Kyler Murray was going to throw this ball, he's not going to throw it directly towards where Hopkins is standing right now. Throw would have to lead Hopkins, which would be somewhere right about here. And a throw here is not open because number 31 is fast enough to get there. That's about six yards. He'd easily be able to jump that. And even if he can't get there to the exact ball, DeAndre Hopkins is going to take a massive hit and he would not be happy. So my point in showing you guys this play is just to tell you guys that in my opinion, Hopkins really was not open all that long, right? I know some people were posting the uh, chip data, right? That like next since that kind of puts out there, not the actual tape, not the actual footage of the play, but you guys can see the play right here. I think the O-line does a great job on this play. That being said, let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Check out this 11 yard touchdown run by Ingram. Notice it's the same play. It's that lead pull play with the right guard, right tackle, both pulling. But this time Ingram actually cuts it back. I want to talk about this play a little bit. If you guys watch both the right guard and right tackle, they both pull everyone else seal blocks. But you'll notice the Saints do something different to stop this play. As both the right guard and right tackle pull, and as you get these guys to start down blocking, the linebacker is actually going to jump the gap here and he's going to actually fill the gap as opposed to letting the tackle go upfield. If you guys watch that linebacker specifically, look at as this play starts to develop and he's going to jump that gap there and he's going to meet the tackle in the gap and ultimately he shuts it down and there's nowhere for the running back to go. Now, of course, the running back cuts it underneath here and you guys are going to see that as well. And he obviously runs it for a touchdown. But I want you guys to think about this right here. Number 90 is going to pop before he squeezes down. Because he's looking at the read option. And the potential that Murray may pull this ball and take it to the left here. So if you guys watch number 90 as Murray's going to hand this ball off. He's going to go upfield as opposed to going straight down. 
And that's because of that threat that Murray has, right? Murray's going to hand the football off. He's going to go towards Murray. Murray's obviously going to hand it off. And the running back's able to cut it. And there's just enough space that number 90 can't make the play right there. Of course, it's a great job by Ingram to be able to see that. Make a couple people miss and take it all the way down to the one yard line. It's a great job right there. I want to wrap this video up with this third and eight run. Kyler Murray checks into it and it was the absolute right call. You know, had the Saints got a stop at this very moment, it would have been a two possession game because the Cardinals would have kicked the football. And there was eight minutes left in the game at this point. The game changes. Had Kyler Murray not checked into this run and the run ultimately picks up 15 yards. That was enough for the first down. But let's break this play down because not only does Murray do a great job checking into the run, but the offensive line does a beautiful job blocking. I mean, just look at the massive lane that gets created because the left guard and center, but more so than that, the left guard Cody Ford does an absolute beautiful job reaching. This defender here is in the five technique. He is lined up over the offensive tackle. This is a very difficult reach here by Cody Ford. Now, here's an interesting part of this play that people may not realize. Number 72 cannot simply just come up and seal off this defender here because had he done that, the angle of where the running back would have ran this ball would have changed. He would have had to go inside as opposed to the outside. So if you guys watch the left guard and watch him reach here, he does a fantastic job. As he gets out of his stance, he's going to get to the outside. He's going to double with the center. They're going to make sure to stop that defender and ultimately let the running back go to the outside. That's a really nice job right there. Again, had Ford not reached to the outside, had he simply sealed outwards, number 30, number 32, may have been able to get there and stop this play. Imagine the running back having to run this inside. I, I don't think he would have picked the first down up because I think Tyron Matthew or the other safety would have tackled him. But this seal block by Ford allows the running back to get to the outside. If you guys watch Tyron Matthew here, he's going to beat the backside seal and he would have made the play. Ultimately, he's the guy that gets to the running back regardless, but Cody Ford, beautiful job right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If this is the first time you guys have been on this channel, please consider subscribing. We do all 22 film breakdowns and the Cardinals are a team we're going to be looking at much more. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.